From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, well, we've got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs and themselves. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And look at this, right away a loose football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, obviously you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline. It saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover. But I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Mm, uh, agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you a, go. I took a shot. Already here, they'll audible to something else. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. On first down, Mahomes. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving the guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's got some space here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And Mahomes sees something. He'll change the play. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so wisely just gets rid of it. The seventh play now in this opening drive. This is third and long, though. They go play fake. Mahomes. That is pulled in by a diving Kelsey. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it in without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it. And he got it. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Jalen Watson dropped him defensively. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. A run by Pacheco on second down. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. Again, it's Pacheco. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. 
They'll run for it with Pacheco. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. start the drive here with Pacheco and he takes this just about a yard shy of the 20 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down that old line they cleared a big hole there on that run the athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve and we're seeing it here not only they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels you know get to the linebacker spot the secondary spot getting all the way down field with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run it with Pacheco from the gun, and he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And got his man complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Andy Reid never wanted to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. Mahomes will throw for it. He'll buy some time right. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Well, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. 8-0 our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. Here's a second and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. 
to this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. 19 yards that time for number 19. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come back, reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Here's Pacheco once again. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Mahomes going to throw. That is caught by Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. Yeah, touchdown. I love it. Now it's only a two-point game. I know it's the first half, but you got to think. Go for two. Tie it up. Go into the locker room. What are you doing? Come on. You're bold. You're bold. It's real easy to be bold sitting up here yeah, rather than right? down we, there and making that decision. We don't have to make those decisions. Either way, a little time left on the clock here in the second quarter. We'll see how this all plays out. And he'll get in to tie this game at eight. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go for two. They didn't have to go for two, but they, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can match? Because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Mahomes now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get this one to Kelsey, that's complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Now Mahomes going to shift him around. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Hardman. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Handoff now for Pacheco. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. <laughs> Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This is caught. 
touchdown. Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. A short kick, but a fair catch called for. Might be second-guessing that one. They'll begin at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Tony. When you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so. Either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and eight. On play action, it's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And it's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up Ford. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. 
And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for. It doesn't pan out. And this defense will take over right at midfield. with Pacheco and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down well the end of all that hitting and hollering it was a four yard run so the offense gonna go back down and feel pretty good about themselves defensively you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run but the goal shut it down for two yards or less that's when you start to feel good about yourselves Pacheco gets it again on second down Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now, look, man, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. That was Justin Reed, the safety, who got to the quarterback. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. And they try with Pacheco. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup. And that will take us to the end of quarter number three. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Mahomes to throw on second down. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Mahomes going to change things up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Second down and eight. On play action, they'll throw to the sideline and incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback, so that's the right call there to just throw that one away. This offense so far on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and eight. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Before we came up to the booth, the last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Here now, second and four. Now a run with Pacheco. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I like
like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 132 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he stopped immediately there. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down. Keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. To throw is Mahomes. Forced out to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Thanks to his effort, they now have a big choice to make here. He just ran them in the field goal range with that one, so here come the choices. Do they kick it here, or do they trust him to make another big play and possibly get a first down? And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now, how about this? They'll change it at the line. They're going to run. It's McKinnon. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Oh, man. That was some call right there. The game in the balance. They run for it on fourth down, and this has been the story all game long. They've been the ones that come up with the big plays when they've needed them. And that last one, that may have won them the football game. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. This is one of those games where if you win it, it feels extra special. But to lose a close one like this, Charles, remember where they didn't score any points in the second half, that has to sting a bit more. Absolutely, and I really think that they're going to spend so much time pouring over this game. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, well, we've got what can only be described as a mirror image matchup, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs and themselves. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And somewhat surprisingly, a fair catch called for on the short kick, so no return. And they'll begin at the 25-yard line. A 
right away they'll change the look. The drive starts with a handoff to McKinnon. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Throwing is Mahomes on third. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play there on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. Now Patrick going to change the play. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Now he's taken down, a chief sack. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Motion man right is Rice. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 61 yards. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25 yard line. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. That's complete to Tony. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now back to throw. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now a second and ten. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is Pacheco. And he is going to lose yardage here. They need 12 here. It's third down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. 
They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a heck of a way to convert on third and long, and he showed a lot of trust in his receiver. And that trust was justified because he went up and got the football and converted on a down. You shouldn't. Third and long like that, that's supposed to be an incompletion at the least. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Pacheco. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter play. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. now on the sneak and he is in touchdown Kansas City Patrick Mahomes scoring on the sneak from a yard out and the Chiefs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game and this is something right out of the Philadelphia playbook they were successful running this with Jalen Hurts but this is a copycat league so if it works for them everyone thinks it'll probably work for us and here it does Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert. And along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw. This one complete to Miko Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Second and nine. Back to throw. Incomplete. 
But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. They'll look to throw. That is caught. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. Mahomes now on first down. Locates Hardman for another catch. That all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nicole Hardman, 42 yards. And the Chiefs have retaken the lead. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that makes this a 14-8 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 54 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Here's second and two now from the three. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. Flush to his right. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Everyone's eyes go to him when he nears the end zone, and that includes the coverage. He took away the easy throwing lanes and forced a high throw. Offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll drop to throw. And he's got it. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. 
Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Third and three. And Mahomes sees something. He'll change the play. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he will have the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll look to pick it up with McKinnon. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Cardin, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes finding me, Cole Hardman. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from taking the lead. Had the option there, read it perfectly, and an easy little touchdown toss. And it has to be a sharp throw, too, because of where they are on the field. The extra traffic, things are condensed near the goal line. Good route by the receiver as well. And he is into the end zone to give him a two-point lead. Now, after...
after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. A short kick, but a fair catch called for. Might be second guessing that one. They'll begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, it's offense. They've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In the case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And somewhat surprisingly, a fair catch called for on the short kick. So no return. And they'll begin at the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Mahomes will try again on second down. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go play fake. Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the sideline he goes. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. A big play there on the catch and run. 64 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Hand off now for Pacheco. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Here's Pacheco once again. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The Chiefs on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and four. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The 
the Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going. And above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. Second down, McKinnon. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and short, McKinnon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Another run on second down. Try to cover up. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. And they take a knee. Second half, Charles, a little bit.